in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to create this gan chart for 12 months project timeline as you can see here i have created this table and i've started uh, the uh, my timeline from the month of january uh, till december and this particular project has to, uh, to be completed in three steps so the first step which will be there for the first three months for jan february and march and then you can just add the title project title and some the project timeline task details you can add it here then my second uh, step starts from the month of april again you can put it the task and then the final step which will start from august till december so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the number of months or the number of steps and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link i have used office 2019 version to do this however with older version also it is possible to do it so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and i'm going to insert the table to insert the table go to insert tab tables and i'm going to select uh, the insert table option here you have got some different options so i'm not going to choose those one i'm just going to choose this one insert table now when i select this insert table it asks me how many columns and how many rows i need for example if i'm making a, a, a gantt chart for 12 months in that case i have to select 12 columns here and if you were going to make it for six months then you need to select six uh, so not a problem with that one so then what i'm going to do is number of rows i'm just going to make it 10 or depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease it and then click ok and you can see here a table has been created now the next thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this one and i'm going to give my own format so first of all i'm going to select this one increase the size according to my requirement you can see here i can increase it and then i'm going to select all the columns and the rows under table design i'm going to remove this header row banded rows as well so you can see here nothing is there it looks something like this so again i'm going to remove the shading i'm going to make it you can see here shading if you want a shading you can make it either a white okay and then you can just choose the the border colors here for example i'm going to choose uh, with the pen color maybe some gray color and then i'm going to choose all borders so you can see it looks something like this and then i'm going to create a banded rows so for this i'm going to select this one shade i'm going to use any light color you can see here something like this so i just need to do it one by one or if possible it is not allowing me to do it uh, together so I just need to do it, select the alternate columns and then just give this shading. So it looks something like this. And here the first one, I'm going to make it uh, the months. So first of all, this month, I don't want any border or anything like that. So for that, I'm just going to select no borders here. All right. So it looks something like this. And here this also, I'm going to make it shading. I'm going to make it white. But when I do that one, the border at the top is it's not coming. So again, I need to select this one and I'm going to choose the border, which is the top border, something like this. So you can see here now for this, I'm going to select, go to home, make it a center align. You can see here I'm going to choose a font called Roboto or any other font of your choice. If you want, you can make it bold also and you can go to the layout and you can just select the center vertically all right so once this is done i'm going to just type in capital letters this is jan feb march april may june july august september october november and december so now if you want you can just give a different color of your choice if you want otherwise we can just leave as it is you can see here i'm just going to select the text and i'm going to give any color of my choice something like this so once this is done what i'm going to do the next is if you want i can remove 
the the lines from this also the shaded also to looks more professional again for that how to do that one i'm going to the table design and here the borders you can see here you can uh, remove the border which is inside all right so inside borders so it looks something like this you can see here and if you want to repeat the whatever the activity you did last uh, you can just press the f function key f4 you can see here like this function key f4 so it looks something like this so you can see here our uh, basic uh, table format is ready now it's time to add the the timelines or the milestones etc so now i'm going to add the timelines for the first three months which is jan feb and march for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select one rectangle and only till the row number three i'm going to make one rectangle like this shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can just give any uh, color of your choice like this and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert and I'm going to add one step. All right, you can see here uh, again the same font I'm going to use. If you want, you can use your own font and then the step. And then here I'm going to change the text direction, which is the rotate all text to 70 degrees, increase the height and put it here. So this is my step and press Control D to duplicate and I'm going to make it as step 01 and this 01 I'm going to increase the size and if you want you can make it bold also so this is my step 1 all right so now the step 1 here first uh, January or uh, halfway through February what are the steps which you are going to do it you can add one arrow here you can see here I'm just going to add one arrow so the first arrow goes till Jan and then shape outline if you want you can increase the weight you can see here like this so that we can differentiate and then you can give the same color or if you want you can give some other colors so my first timeline uh, has to complete in the month of uh, January then press ctrl D to duplicate bring it down and the second timeline should complete by say mid of February so I'm just going to hold the shift key to get the straight line and then release it so and then the third one i'm going to duplicate this and this one should be till here you can see here like this or if you want you can just reduce us maybe till here so you can see here step one we have got january i can just align it properly okay so i've got the first one january february and uh, March and then you can add some rectangle again with some different color light color shape outline no outline shape fill I can give any light color here you can see here any color of your choice very light color and there we are going to add the text so go to insert text box you can add any text of your choice for example title all right and reduce the size and put it here like this and press ctrl d and you can add detail project task okay some spelling mistake okay something like this again if you want you can further reduce the size of this and put it here so you can see here i have added the same thing now what you can do is if you want you can just add uh, again a different rectangle with the same color or with the different color shape outline no outline shape fill the same color i'm going to use maybe and make sure that the arrows should be at the top always you know when i select this one the arrow here bring it to front all right and here also i'm just going to select with the help of a mouse and bring to front and then i'm going to duplicate this one and this also i'm going to put it till here and again if i want i can just either send this to back so that it goes back here and then 
let me just increase it select both press ctrl d to duplicate so this is my second task and this is my third task so something like this you can finish it off so this is my step one now i'm going to copy the step two for that i'm going to select this one press ctrl d to duplicate bring it here you can see here and this one i'm going to make it uh, say first second and third till here okay and then i can just add this one or i can just first of all go and change to some different color format here okay and once this is done so after the step one the step two has to start okay so in that case i can select this one duplicate this or hold the control shift key together and drag it here you can see here and this is my step two okay if you want if you like you can just put it here as well okay right and then i'm just going to select this arrow and bring it down so this is my starting in march okay you can see here maybe till mid april or start of april and then this will go here you can see here and the other one till maybe here so this one i have to reduce the size and then these colors also i can change according to the color selection or if you want you can have some different color as well now the same thing applies here you can see here so this is for the uh, january so for march april may so i have to increase the size basically again hold the shift key you can see here so depending on your requirement i can just increase it like this okay and then same thing go to insert shapes select the rectangle if you want the rectangle should start from here you can make it like this or if you want at the bottom also in that case if you're doing like this then i have to increase the size one more down one more row down here okay and this also will be here so in that case the first arrow i don't need okay the first arrow i don't need i can just simply delete it and this one shape fill i can give any light blue color shape outline no outline press ctrl d to duplicate so this is for the second one till here and this is for the third one which is still here so now select this and send this to back so that our arrows are visible here you can see here something like this so once this is done again you can add the title and the text press ctrl d to duplicate and you can just put your own title and the text here all right so you can see here something like this so once this is done so this is for the january february i did actually i should have done for january february march so here i made a mistake it should have been moved to the this side again if you have made some mistake like this it's very easy to change i'm just going to select this all and just with the help of the uh, arrow right arrow key i can just move it here you can see here and this also i can move it here so this is my step now again if you feel that you need to increase this one again it's very easy you can just hold the shift key and increase the size you can see here i can just choose i can increase the size so it's very flexible and very easy to do it so once this is done again i can just select all for example i'm going to select all and press ctrl d to duplicate bring it till here you can see here like this and then this one i'm just going to bring it down something like this and then i can just select like this and bring it down here so this way i can just save the time and then i'm just going to bring it down to the step three okay like this and again if you want you can just change the color according to your requirement all right so like this you can change it and at the top you can just add some title uh, to show in your presentation